Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's already like 11 o'clock, horses were put out, brought in. Gabby and I are going birthday shopping. We're gonna get Sophia a present. Hopefully they have it there, if they're not, I'll order it and uh, hopefully we'll get it by next week. And they have two stores, so they'll, I think they might have it at the other store. So I'll get it, I'll get it next week if I, if they don't have it there. She likes pink saddle pads. Can you believe that? Pink saddle pads. I don't. Anyways, we're getting something really neat and cool, and it's by Lemieux. And I think it's too young for her age. Yeah. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know. Kids play with toys. I play still with toys. Sometimes I see some good Star Wars toys, and I buy it. And Gabby's got the putty. And the thing about the putty is you're supposed to use the whole thing and then wash it and then we'll, and then wash it out and then it's reusable right mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be only to get into the little pockets that you can't get into the dirt out of i mean uh, this car's clean but uh laura's van is filthy it's not really that so clean. you might want to <laughs> clean the van before you use the putty on everything or the you have to watch the putty like 20 times Another thing I noticed about this car is, see the squirt nozzle there? When I push to wipe the car, it only goes up like up That's to like there. on one side. Well, the other one works good? Yeah. So I ended up buying some nozzles and we're going to switch one out and see how it goes. Maybe we'll switch both out and keep the one that works as a spare because sometimes they break in the winter time. I had a problem once where I used my scraper brush on my truck too hard and broke it. <laughs> was it on the truck or the van? Probably the van. And I broke it, but I mean, these are easy to change. So we're gonna do that today too. Sing National Anthem. Oh, Canada, we stand up for the Our national anthem. <laughs> Hi guys, we're at our favorite tax store. Do some Chris birthday shopping. I don't know if we need a blanket. That's a pretty thin blanket. Eh? Too thin. Too thin of a blanket. Looks nice though. But it's really thin. It's only 200 grams. Turnout sheet. Oh, here's some good shirts. Roper Wild West. Oh, look at that. That's like a sweater. It's got all the stuff in it. Yeah. All the Jolly Balls. Jolly Balls. For farmers. For you. No, these are for farmers. These are for you. No. You're a farmer. Whether you like it or not. Are you a farmer? No. What are you then? Okay. Equestrian? Looking for trees. Oh, I think I need another salt block. Oh, look at that. They make these now. They make salt bricks. And Tina would like that. Maybe. I'll go in a stall. <laughs> I might break that. Maybe these are cool too. But then he's got half of a brick in there still. So I might have to wait to put this on there. Oh, here's a better salt block holder because that other thing is all rusty and remember I showed you guys it was all rusty and now this we can change it with this better idea better idea well I'm gonna get this because his salt lick is all rusty but I'm gonna look for treats here we are we found the treat section we uh, always use Martin's horse treats I think you can only get them in Canada though they are pretty yummy for our horses. I get maple or peppermint. What should I get? Maple or peppermint? Oh yeah, only only storm is picky. All right, so now we're looking for Sophie's birthday present. Where is Sophie's birthday present? Yeah, I know. I always say that. What? A burger. Burger collar. That's a big thick collar. Is that for a horse or a cow? 
That's huge. Okay, can't find it. All right, so that's what we got, Sophie. Got her a horse. It's a little bit too busy and confusing in that store. There's too many people in that store, eh? Too many people. Saw a bunch of friends there and uh, it was kind of awkward talking on the camera. But I think we got Sophie's present, eh? Yeah. You know how much that thing was? No. Do you want to know? No. So you can compare? No. So when's your birthday, you know how much? You could spend mm -hmm. that birthday present was three hundred and fifty dollars but it comes with the horse the saddle pad um, all the tack like it's pretty much like uh, I'd rather buy that horse than like a horse like Chino because it's way cheaper yeah. and you get all the tack with go with it you don't have to buy all this extra tack Anyways, that's what you wanted for her birthday, and I guess when she gets it, she'll show you all the stuff that comes with it, because we didn't really show you all the stuff that came with it, but we just showed you the horse, so. And that is new from Lemieux, and I think it was a good deal when you get all the stuff together as a package, because I checked online, and I could order it from Lemieux Canada, but it actually comes from the UK, and it would have been more expensive to buy all of them because you have to pay import fees and stuff like that. So that was actually a pretty good deal. All right, so we're back home. We're at the farm, and we're going to now teach Gabby to install these things. You know, you should always, like, maybe watch your dad or help your dad out. I always, like, help my dad out every time he was fixing cars and stuff, and my my neighbor at my parents house would always do auto body work and fix cars for people and I would actually help and eventually you know even though I was like 13 I I'd, I'd be making money helping them fix cars so to, today we're going to show Gabby how to just change these little simple things and you know what why not change these simple things on your own buy the parts on your own save you like maybe 50 bucks at the auto shop don't we need the hood up? That's right. And that's why I left the hood down. <laughs> Alright, so these are the things we're going to change. That one's not working. That one works, but... It won't it, match. It doesn't match. It's got this little white thing. A little white thing. I like matching stuff, but we're going to keep it as a spare. Put the hood up. Now, can we see where it is? No. It's there yeah, so now we have to take... Now we have to take this off. Uh oh. This is where it gets iffy. We need our tools. Let's go get our tools. Gabby was just saying it's warm by the engine. But these are little tools here. These will easily fit in here and take these out so you don't break them. And sometimes they're hard and sometimes they break, but you got to just do it nice and slow and wiggle it out. And this one is not good and I don't have metal ones of these, unfortunately. So let's try this one. It's coming out. Oh, 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 we lost it. All the way down there. It's on the ground? There, this is why you don't do it at home, you lose them. I'm not going to video any more of this, but we're going to do this. We'll get it done and we'll show you later. Alright, so we did it. We took this thing off. We changed both. They look good to go. We're going to put this back on. We're going to test it. And yeah, let's put this thing back on, man. Alright, we had to put the other one back on. Let's see if it works. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, alright. Okay. Problem is, this is the old one, which is bent. This is the new one, which is straight. We need another bent one to go there. And the funny thing is, I ordered this online and it was supposed to be for the exact car. And it obviously is not the right one because we need these ones. But it works for now and we'll just, we'll just order another set. These are like uh, $8, so it's not much money. We'll keep these ones as spares just in case they break in the winter time. Okay, let's go quick. Quick, quick. Oh my god, stop. Quick. That way. Go that way. 
Go that way. Well, I was gonna go there. Let's go, quick. Well. Oh my gosh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Is this a true life or death situation? This I is a true so life or death situation. I would scratch my car. <laughs> what? In a real true life or death situation, you still wouldn't scratch your car? Yeah. Well, that is just terrible. Gabby is almost ready to get her license and just start driving, but oh my god, she's going too fast now. Dude, you go too fast. Holy jeez, dude, you go too fast. Dude. I don't. Alright, so this is the toy. And there it is, $350 for this toy. It comes in this cool box that looks like a transport. And a bunch of stuff with it. Hey guys, be thankful. This is my new little platter that I got for Thanksgiving. I'll be thankful if I can find the butterscotch chips. <laughs> oh, man. They're probably right in front of my eyes, but they're I can't probably see them. right in front of your eyes. All right, back up and I'm, let me I'm let tall me look. now. Yeah, really tall. Uh, go back to back. I'm 5'9. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, so basically, uh, good morning, uh, welcome to today. You guys know that it is our Thanksgiving weekend and we're getting ready for the weekend. We have a lot going on. And I'm wearing those body shaping things, those body wear things. Oh, so, I wanna try. Uh, so I wanna try. I hate it, I hate it, I cannot handle. I wanna try it. I can't handle feeling squished in. Oh, like, it makes me feel awful. I just something that I want to tell them. All right, tell them. So once when Kaylee was over, we were playing she like it as she like on in the kitchen table. And I did something, and I lost my she like tack. So I was looking everywhere, and Kaylee was like, look in the fridge. And I looked in the fridge, and it was in the fridge. Wow, that's random. Yeah, I know. Have you guys ever done that before? Put stuff in the fridge. It's just the favorite thing that I love. Put stuff in the fridge and not even realize that you put it in the fridge. We're looking it's for like butterscotch chips. Sophie puts frozen eggs in my fridge. Oh, look what I found. I don't even like it, Arrow. All right. Okay. So, anyways, we have a lot going on. I'm trying to get things cleaned up. I'm trying to, like, work with this thing squished in my belly. It's driving me crazy. Don't ever buy shit. Yeah, oh, oh. What if it goes <sighs> up like that? Oh, that feels a lot better, Sophie. Yeah, I know. Anyway, Sam and I are gonna go to a wedding, Jack and Jill, tonight for my niece, and we have a lot going on today. So, we're also preparing for Sophie's birthday, and just a lot going on. I so, have new foundation, because I used all mine. Yeah, she used a lot of foundation in a short time. Well, there only comes with a little bit of foundation in it. Yeah, maybe. Okay. So anyways, we are going to fast forward this video until um, uh, some special guests arrive. You oh. guys probably can already guess. These are the best cheeses. Um, so yesterday you guys saw that we tried to see if Chino would paint and he did paint. And what you didn't see was that we tried most of our other horses to see if they could paint. You would just think that if Chino could paint, all horses could paint. You think that's true? Well, I'm going to show you guys the rest of that footage that we didn't share yesterday. Right now, while we get the house organized and fixed up for our guests. And us also ready to go out. Who buys candy corn? <laughs> I love candy corn. That's the worst thing in the world. Yeah, but I thought it would be really good to decorate our table with candy corn because it's festive. Here's the footage. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about our other horses trying to paint. Well, I helped Sophie uh, find her some oh, butterscotch kind of. chocolate chips. Here comes our next contestant Hungry. on Hungry. the Hungry. Magical Hungry. Painting Pony Show. Gracie, how do you feel about becoming the first world's most amazing painter, horse painter? Female horse painter. Female horse painter. She says you just show it to me and I'll do it. The other horses are like, what is going on? So here's the thing. Getting the horse to hold the paintbrush is why we thought Chino would be so good at it. Here, Sophie, hold it. I am holding it. She's not a painter. Willow's ready. She's 
not a painter. She's like, <laughs> no. Nope. I know, he's so good. All right, let's do the next I one. I see a star. You see a star? Chino yeah. is a star. All right, next up is the little mini. Do you think you could paint little mini? Yes, I can do it, let me in. Look at this though. This is what's so funny, is that people don't understand how this horse only loves her girl. Like she, I know, like she'll do anything for Sophie. Sophie walks near her and she comes to her. But not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I don't know why it's happening. Do you have a treat? Yeah. Oh, she spilled the poo. Here we go. She only likes being caught in the arena. You can clearly see a star or a sun. Okay. You can you clearly. Know how, you know how little children draw suns? Mm -hmm. Like the circle with the spikes? Yeah. The circle with the spikes? Oh, I see it. All different colored or spikes. A star. You see it? Here we go. Horse number three. Let's see if she will paint. I think Chino really did amazing at it. Like, I think we could do it. She doesn't, she doesn't want to. You're gonna hold it. Sophia, stop. Yeah, I don't, so I think like to be a painter, you have to want to hold things in your mouth. I love it, do you love it, Gabby? I'm not gonna try Penny, because honestly, I do not think that she, <laughs> would love that. I think you have to know your horse. And I had a feeling Chino you know, would be good at it, and he really is. Here is the final product. Yeah, that's okay. You can see the amazing swish marks of his paintbrush there. The amazing swish marks of his paintbrush. No, it goes the other here. way because that's a cat. Yeah, that's a cat. That's Ollie. Orange you made cat. Ollie. Or a sun, or a star. We might call this the star is born. I love it. He did such a good job. And it's neat. We should have done that because it just makes it weird now. It, yeah. It is super neat to see Grace is like, I'm how right. horses like are like people. And they all have different things they like to do. Like Chino will put a paintbrush in his mouth and move his head up and down. Whereas our girls that you could clearly see wouldn't paint. even put it in their mouths. I know. I don't think she would do it. Give Molly a paintbrush and see what she does. All right, you want to add Molly to it? Sure, Molly will do it. Take it, take it, take get it, Molly. Get it, get it, Molly. Molly, get it, get it, get it, get it. Good job. Put it all. Suddenly, way. all get of it. our get future it. vlogs, the dogs all have get it. color on get them. It. Get it, Molly. Molly, no, 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 no. Get it, get it. All right, so you guys should see that. Be able to see by the trying of all the different dogs and pets. Oh gosh. There we go. Yeah, but let's not ruin. Oh. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. You. No, Mom. One day it'll be his very first work of art. What if we, we should chickens? Try, <laughs> we should try it with Daisy because she actually likes to grab things and take it to her cage. Do you know what we should try with the chickens? We should put raspberries and blueberries and, no and all those kind of fruit on a board and let the chickens eat it and walk all over it after they're eating it and make art that way. Oh, I didn't Chicken do that. Art. Oh my gosh. I didn't do my that. Kids with paint. No, I didn't. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Sophie with her face mask that doesn't come off. <laughs> it's out from off because I don't want to wash my face. She almost came down with a full face mask on. I told her to take it off. Chino, the amazing painting horse. That is it. We will see you guys tomorrow for more great, amazing horse adventures. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way